Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 3 of learning English in 5 minutes. Today we'll be talking about 5 words that you can use uh, in your daily sentences and that can enhance your vocab also. So let's get started. First word is catch 22. Well, if you have heard about that word, then that word means a dilemma or any difficult circumstance from which there is no escape. So basically, it means it is an impossible situation because you can't do one thing until you do another thing and you can't do another thing until you do the first thing. Oh, got confused. So let's take an example. Uh, how can I get an experience until I get a job? Correct. And how can I get a job if I don't have an experience? So a company is not willing to give me job because I don't have experience. But unless and until I'll have a job, I cannot have an experience, right? So it is a dilemma. It is confusing. It is just so confusing that one thing cannot happen because the other is not happening. Uh, another example, you can say that authors cannot get their manuscripts published until they have an agent but they cannot have an agent until they get their manuscripts published. So yeah, that's the dilemma. So that's catch 22. The second word is flummox. Flummox means to confuse or puzzled or something which is mysterious. So the complicated rules are likely to flummox new players, yani confuse new players. The complex lesson or this complex lesson in mathematics may flummox several of the beginning students or learners. So confuse. Another example could be an actor. Uh, he is an actor who is easily flummoxed by changes in the script. He is an actor who is easily flummoxed by changes in the script. Third word is obtuse. Obtuse means someone who is dumb or someone who is not quick in understanding something. So it is usually termed as, you know, someone who, who, don't, who doesn't understand simple things. So you, can, so you can use it like, are you obtuse that you will give away all your money to a fake charity? Yani, have you like lost it? Are you dumb that you are giving away everything to a fake charity? Are you obtuse that you're not even understanding a simple thing? Are you dumb that you're not even understanding a simple thing? Obtuse. The fourth word is voracious. Voracious. Voracious means when you want something in greater quantity, usually referred for food or it can be for anything, say for travel or for uh, learning or for knowledge. So you can say any person, let's say some XYZ person, let's say Misha. Misha is a voracious book collector. That means I have that hunger of collecting books or you know, or you can say that kids have, can have voracious appetite. You know, kabhi bhi kuch bhi kha sakte, nahi kha sakte. And the fifth word is vindictive. Vindictive. It means having or showing a strong or you can say unreasoning desire for revenge. Someone who wants to take revenge for anything and everything. So you can say that, uh, say for example, uh, Rahul or Neha or any XYZ person is a vindictive, or say, let's say Neha. Neha is a vindictive woman who burned all clothes of her ex-boyfriend. Yeah, vindictive means for no reason you just want to take a revenge, you know. Although he claims that he is not a vindictive person, but he seemed pretty happy when he got to know that his abusive boss was getting fired. So he's saying that he's not a vindictive person, but he was happy. Why? Because his boss, who he felt was abusive, was getting fired. So he, he felt it was like a revenge for him. So he felt happy about it. So that's why the person is vindictive. So these are five uh, words that you can use and th these will, this will enhance your vocabulary and I hope you'll be using them in some sentences and if you like this then please like share and subscribe and also like in write in the comment section your favorite word or if there's a word that is your favorite and I didn't mention it obviously because there's a thousand of words and I've just mentioned five then do write it in comment take care bye bye